Actually, we're just going to take off now. Get it, get it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, come on. Fleetwood, come here. Fleetwood, get in the house. Come here. When I arrived at JB and Gail's house, they knocked on the door, they opened it, and out shot what I saw to be a little papillon. And he was gone. Fleetwood, sit down. Fleetwood. I had to run to stop a car so that Fleetwood. if he'd run over the road, he wouldn't get run over. Hi. Hi. I'm just worried about that car. Fleetwood. You gotta pee, grab him. Pee, grab while peeing. Thank God he had to pee. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Victoria. <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh. JP. I see. Hey. Good to meet I'm you, glad to have you. Yeah, I need to be here, I think. Yes. Okay. I'm glad Victoria got to see that whole thing because that's the biggest problem that we have with Fleetwood. Having finally wrangled Fleetwood back into the house, JB and Gail show Victoria the results of keeping the dogs indoors during the day. They tore up the sheetrock. They the... chewed through the sheetrock here? Yeah, they were like that deep. They we like put it. plaster back in. They get it wet, and then they chew it. They're like beavers. You have baby gates everywhere. Well, that's the, that's where we put them when we go to work. Both dogs have chewed, and of course, a lot of damage in the house. And that is because they were left by their owners for 10 hours a day. So what do they expect? When we go to work, we shut those gates, and then we close that gate off. And so that's the compound area they have. So, but anyway, this way they're safe in the kitchen, and they're not crated. Okay. They can, you know, sleep, run around, and drink water. Mm-hmm. How, how long are, are you away at work? Sometimes it's eight hours. Those are long days. But I get to come home in the middle of the day a lot of times. You do. The chewing is basically 90% of it is stopped. I just haven't repaired the damage, and I'm not going to till they get older. OK, OK. Uh, but we can't trust them. Yeah, they I can start up them. again. I don't know, but I'm not going to fix it to find out. All right, good. Do these dogs get a lot of exercise? No. And I know they would be better if we were able to give them more, but it's such a disaster outside with the dog aggression and the charging. So we really kind of gave up. We have coyotes, we have hawks, and I get scared. You know, we have pit bulls that run through the neighborhood with no leash and no people, and it's hard. You can't take them both out at the same time. There is a problem, but you have added to that problem. Uh, By giving up on the walking, you're doing a lot of damage to your dogs. No wonder Fleetwood wants to dash out the door and he doesn't come back to you. Secondly, you're calling him, Fleetwood, come, come here now. Are you going to come over to me or are you going to run away? Yeah, I'm going to run away. Exactly. Now, she wants to address JB's terrible communication with Fleetwood, which has led to more than one dangerous situation. Fleetwood! Fleetwood! Oh, hold on, hold on. I think one of the reasons why Fleetwood is dashing out of the door is because he doesn't get out as much. There's a lot out here that's very stimulating. Then you come along and you ask to get him back. Fleetwood! Fleetwood, treat, treat! Fleetwood! You call him and he completely refuses. Well, absolutely, because sorry, but you're boring. All right. JB doesn't really have a relationship with Fleetwood. He doesn't come to JB when he's called because he has no reason to. You have to become part of the game. I'm going to teach you a recall. Until Fleetwood is responding to JB on a regular basis, Victoria wants him to use a long leash. So here is where we begin to, to change the picture. So allowing your dog to experience outside like this, so important. Now. <gasps> Love squeaky toys. Good boy. What's that? What's that? What's that? Now you begin to play. Good boy. Now you make things different. Right. Now you are going to be in charge of the squeaky ball. Bringing something fun that really motivates the dog increases an owner's value in that dog's eyes. I want you to get the ball, and then I want you to run away from him and say, yeah. come. OK, now go away from him. Good boy. That's it. Now run and say, come. 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 That's it. Come. Good. Now throw the ball for him. 
good. Good boy. Good boy, Fleetwood. So you have to increase your value in his eyes. When I was running back and forth, I enjoyed it, because I want Fleetwood to, you That's know, be it. a regular dog and not have to be stuck inside all the time. You're actually forming a relationship with your dog. The training's going to be difficult for JB, because he doesn't have a lot of natural energy or enthusiasm, but he's got to find it within himself so he can build up a better relationship with Fleetwood. Along with his one-on-one -on -one time with JB, Victoria also wants Fleetwood to get out on more regular walks. The dogs are chewing because they're being left at home all day and because they're completely bored. Sunny and Fleetwood need to be walked separately for now because they need to become comfortable around other dogs before they walk together. This is lovely. He feels the wind in his hair. Yeah, he's having fun now. Yeah. And he doesn't miss Sonny at all. Fleetwood didn't even act like he knew Sonny when he went on the walk. He was just uh, having a good time by himself. But the real test comes when a neighbor approaches. Say hi. Good. Good boy. All right. This is better. Not one little bark, not one little lunge, nothing. All right. It was smell the dog, off I go. You can see how Sonny eggs him on. Yeah. Turns him into a different dog. <laughs> I think Fleetwood is nervous of other dogs, but I think the situation is made a lot worse by Sonny being there and antagonizing him. Good, Fleetwood. Good boy. I'm proud of how far Fleetwood's come with walking. He wasn't too stressed, and he seemed like he was having a pretty good time there. That's closer than he's ever walked alongside somebody's dog. Later in the week, Victoria checks in. Let's see how Gail and JB have been doing since I left them. Come here, Fleetwood. Today, JB and the boys are practicing recall training with Fleetwood. You got to try to get him to come over to you. Fleetwood, turn around. Fleetwood, come on, come on. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good. Ah, good. That was good. good. Well done, JB. The more you do this, the more valuable you'll become in Fleetwood's eyes, and he'll start responding to you on a regular basis. Fleetwood's done a whole lot better. Come on. Like, you can walk him, and he doesn't start barking, and he's a whole lot calmer, especially training him separately from Sonny. Man, that was really good. He'll actually come to me when I call him. He actually came back without even saying treat. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.